Yo, what's good, people? Welcome back to the Sadly Relatable Podcast. We back, baby. Yay, yay. I'm not feeling it today. I got to cast out your Marjay and then realize we have the same one. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's good, people? Welcome back to the episode. Um, Nishan's a bit tired today. No, I wasn't going to tell them. Okay, <laughs> they could just figure it out for no, your face. I'm not. I'm not going to speak about. It. I'm right. always. I'm so tired. I've done so much. No, I am a bit tired today. I was going to have a nap. Actually, I tried to have a nap twice while he was like setting up. And I think it that's didn't what messed you up, though. No, I didn't have it. But that will mess you up. You know when you try to sleep and you're like trying to get in that mode and you don't. Twenty minute power nap save your life. Have you ever I tried can't. it? Every time I have it, it doesn't matter how long the nap have is, even if it's three minutes, minute even if it's three minutes, I'll wake up. No, like, scientifically, gone. 20 minute is the cutoff point. No less, no more. And yeah. then you feel actually like energized. Oh, for me, even I've have had you 20 tried minute. 20 minutes. Yes. And it's still no, it's me 21 up. minutes. No. And I wake up gone. I'm like, I wake up like, yeah, where yeah. am I? Who am I? I when yeah. was I? <laughs> um, do you know what happened to me talking about naps? What? <laughs> what? No. I'm just, uh. Okay. Uh, did you fart? No, oh, I, uh, I want to doing. though. If I farted, you would know. Okay. Anyway, so after you wake up, this from is your sounds, coma. going to sound very weird. Go. Yeah. Or like it sounds like there's something wrong with you, but there isn't. I was falling asleep. I don't know whether it's because I haven't been like last week, few weeks, actually month probably. I've been going to bed like. 5 a.m. waking up early. Yeah, why well. are you doing this to yourself? I'm up and down from London. I'm doing stuff. I'm chilling. I'm having a good time. Whatever. Yeah, Basically, but why are you doing this to yourself? Because I'm just active. I'm getting stuff. I'm also getting stuff sorted as well. Like I'll stay up, edit the podcast, do stuff. Anyway. Yeah. So my sleep hasn't been amazing. Is that a cold sore? No, you not. Oh no, no, that's a spot. I've never had a cold sore in my life, and we spoke about this. I know, but I'm just saying, you look like you got one. No, relax. No, I don't. What's wrong with having one? <laughs> You're nasty. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's hey, a normal I'm- thing that happens to people. <laughs> What well, like not a cold so it's a spot because I already popped it. <laughs> not to get into it like that. Anyway, so stop staring at it. Sorry. <laughs> you should see her staring at I'm it. I'm just looking at There's it. Stop it. touching it's, it's, it. It's a little dot. Ah! Hey, yo! <laughs> what? What if it is one? <laughs> then we're both going down together. No! <laughs> Wallah is not one, relax. You don't know that. <laughs> it's the Wallah, it's not, it's a spot, Wallah. How do you know that? Because I popped it as a spot, it was a spot. They can be spots, no, they, they look can't. like spots, Wallah they do. No, they That's don't. how they start, Wallah is how I, they start. I don't have, I've never had one in my life. Doesn't matter, you can have the virus your whole life and just randomly get one. Okay. That's disgusting that you've just done that, Wallah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's actually so butters. <laughs> no offence. <laughs> No, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> no, I don't mean she it was, like that. Was, Get off. She was so disgusting. No. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. <laughs> no, it's going to be one person at home watching with a cold sore. He's like... No, listen. <laughs> we literally have family members that have cold sores. Oh, don't be at our thing. <laughs> I'm not going to say exactly who I've seen. Like, we've grew up with them. Like, what are parents? And do you know what I mean? Grandparents. And stuff, like, everyone else, everyone does around us. But my thing is this. If I get one... Mm-hmm. I don't, it's difficult for me to work because I have to wear makeup and do you yeah. know what I mean? I don't care about it. I've never had one in my life and it's not literally, listen, look at it, it's a spot, wallah. Yeah, it's fine if it is, but my thing is, I don't care about getting them, it's because I my face has to be shown for work all the time. <laughs> anyway, the story that I was trying to tell, oh damn, I can see it coming already. Shut <laughs> up! The story that I was trying to tell was, I was falling asleep. I feel really bad for anyone that has cold sores and I call them disgusting. Wallah, that's not what I meant. I meant it's disgusting that he touched his mouth and then touched mine. I don't think it's I'm disgusting. sorry, yeah. I think cold sores are disgusting. Ayo. They're butters. Yeah. What, am I going to sit here and lie to them? No. No, you look beautiful, love. No, you got some red thing on your lip that looks dirty and infected. That's just how it is. You can't, what are we going to do? Offend all the lip ulcered people in the world. Cancel them. No, they don't but like listen the sight to this. Of a no, no, but what I'm saying is they can't help it. So it's not nice when you're saying but. No, it is, but I'm sorry. If you can't help the fact that something grows out of your body that's ugly, then it's not your Yeah, problem. but it's not their fault. Okay, yeah, obviously. I'm not saying you're disgusting for having the fact that you get cold sores. I just think a cold sore itself is ugly and a bit ugh. Yeah, they're ugly, but it's not like, ew, Yeah, but disgusting. you're acting like we're discriminating against like... Yeah, because some people, people might feel insecure about them and then they see our podcast and we... Do you know what I mean? It might hurt their feelings. That's what I'm thinking. I'm sorry, but that's just a fact. Yeah, but what I'm saying is imagine we have viewers and they're like insecure about them. They get them because I've got a friend that has okay. them and she has to take medication for them because yeah, she gets some Yeah, and I loads. pray and shall like it's easier for them. I don't think it's like... I'm not saying we're going to see someone call someone and be like, oh, that person's disgusting. It's like me. I have spots. Spots are dirty. I would say spots are disgusting. But there's so many people that deal with spots and, um, and acne. I had acne myself. But I wouldn't get offended if someone's like, spots are disgusting. I'd be like, oh. No, but day. when you say that, it's kind of like, uh, don't come near me. Spots No, are I didn't. Gross. I just said that a cold sore is butters. It's just it normal. Normalise it. Yeah, it is saying. normal. 
No one's saying it's not normal. You're trying to cover your tracks too much, G. No, because I thought, yeah, you know what? You I wish you could go back to the like beginning episode in this room where I was like, I say what I want. Yeah. I don't care who You've I changed. offend. You've changed. No, you know what it is? I don't care about getting cancelled. I don't want my viewers. Not okay, wait. Yeah, imagine yeah, one of our sadly saying, relatable family yeah. viewers watching this and be like, oh, I get them. Like, I'm a bit insecure. There's, nothing, ro- there's nothing wrong with getting them. They're just buzz. <laughs> but... I do understand. You want to be more sensitive to people that yeah, do exactly. actually deal with it. And honestly, this whole thing, I am like messing around and trying to be funny. Um, I do feel sorry for anyone that kind of gets them. And we know people ourselves that get them. I have a cousin that gets them like all the time. Yeah. But I've never been weird around him or acting the same way. It's just a, a little thing on your lip and then it goes with it eventually. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Anyway. And by the end of the day, me and Nish should now have them. So no! we can't talk about it. <laughs> no. um, anyway, uh, may Allah protect us all from your <laughs> sauce. <I mean. laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so my story and what I was saying was I tried to go to bed early because um, I, <laughs> I wanted to get my sleep pattern right. <clears throat> and it was like eight o'clock coming to, towards nine. I was like, all right, let me go to bed. Went to sleep, had about 30 minutes sleep. And then all of a sudden. Wait, when was this? This was two days ago. Yeah. I think all of a sudden I woke up in my room like I woke up and I was in a sleep paralysis oh uh, yeah but it was a weird one it was a weird sleep paralysis because it's it started off are we being loud no 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 he just um asked remember what I told you we need to do before the thingy I can't remember should we do it now oh Tell yeah, yeah. no 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 we'll do that we'll do that eventually that's calm sorry guys uh, anyway so my point was <clears throat> um I'll I had sleep paralysis. I woke up, um, but it was it was like a weird one. It started off in my dream, and then I woke up, and all I saw was like this girl at the end of my bed, and I thought it was you, Wallah. I thought it was you, and I was like, I, and in my brain, I was trying to like communicate, and I said I, to tell you that I know it's you. I thought you were trying to be funny and just stand there. What? The and Wallah, hell? whilst I was trying to get out of my sleep paralysis, this never happened to me before. This sounds messed up. Uh, my whole body just started going like shaking, loads, 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 and then I closed my eyes and I read. Uh, a sort of, uh, I read a sword in my head and then I was like and then I like woke up out of it and I was like oh. does that not scare you? <clears throat> but then what I realised is the figure that I saw it wasn't me obviously it wasn't you it was because I had a, a white fan at the end of my bed and when you when I opened my eyes I was like oh it looks like there's something there but yeah. it's not it's just the white against the black and stuff like that you need to get rock here mate <laughs> no yes yes <laughs> anyway. is that not scary that you no, like, I, I would never sleep if no, that was no, me I, if I had to experience it I genuinely would never sleep no I have full trust in Allah everything yeah there's I get nothing that like, it doesn't of scare course me. But what I'm saying is it doesn't mean just because you trust no, but Allah I think it's more. Mean. I think it's more stress Related than it is a uh, Rukia thing. So I my, listen to Rukia all the time. I listen to like my thing is this, yeah. All the time I feel like maybe it. once I've had it, but what happens is I'm so tight. Like so, whatever happens to me throughout the night, mm-hmm. by the time I wake up, I forget. Like let's say I go to the toilet or have a drink, I always forget and like I get told. Yeah. So my thing is, I probably had it. I probably might get it every night. Yeah. You but I forget. Know. I forget. Every night you're suffering. <laughs> yeah. Imagine every night you put a camera That's in one day. That's why I'm so tired. <laughs> That's why I wake, wake up, up so like, tired. Best not sleep I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I was going to say, that's why maybe some days I wake up so drained. Yeah, I'm like, like, why what am I drained? <laughs> you watch back the footage, you're just there the whole night. That's weird. Listen, <laughs> um, so there's this app that you can download and... Um, you. <gasps> you done it once, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, anyway, what did I say? That explain that app. So the app, you basically just leave it playing. And you can um, use our code. At, no, yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> it's an app that you leave it playing while you're asleep, but it doesn't film the whole night. It will only film when it detects sound. Yeah. And it basically just um, like films you, Do you talking know throughout the night. Because imagine you watch your back and then all you hear is... You yeah. hear like this and then you hear... Yeah, that'll be you breathing. No. And then, and then you hear you like... And then you realise that there's just someone in the room watching yeah, you. Yeah, that would be scary. I can smell your breath from here. It smells good. That would be scary, I'm not going to lie. But that's a cool app. I don't remember what it's called, but if they sponsor us, I'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so what did you end up doing it then? I swear you made a noise. I did. I you was still like, speaking. I speak in my sleep. Dad, I miss you. <laughs> oh my God, speaking of which, I had the saddest dream ever. Oh, oh my God, don't because no. I'm going to be sad. Oh no. So basically, I'm going to close my eyes, right? Basically, I had a dream that me and Baba sorted things out and then I woke up really sad. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do that? Because you've actually got me emotional now. <laughs> okay, wait. Because it was actually sad. <laughs> <Don't>, <laughs> Why would you do that? We were okay, having a wait, good episode. Wait, wait, wait. Because I actually had a dream and like we saw it and he like... <laughs> Don't Why are we doing this again? I okay, can change the subject. All right, relax. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sad. Okay. <laughs> That is so sad. No, it's so sad. Now you're crying. <laughs> and you nearly got me crying as well. 
<laughs> what an episode. What the hell? Talking about Veruca, not Verucas. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? Cold Cold Just as bad. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, no. So, okay, Mav, now me gaining composure, I genuinely had composure a dream. Composure with tears. You have tears no, you have I genuinely face. had a dream. <coughs> and in my oh, dream... You're one of them crying little kids that just cough with their mouth open. <coughs> have you seen the photo when they, it's like... The cat, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I genuinely had a dream that um, it was so real as well. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Mm. It was so real. Like, I actually woke... Like, in my dream, it was so real. Like, mm-hmm. we sorted things out, and we were sitting, speaking, and I woke up, and I was like, oh. Listen, you look... Your tears are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're talking to me normally, but you've got tears all down here, all oh, down Oh, I didn't even foot. notice. Yeah, you look... Pass me a tissue. There's... Can you, cat... Can you get it? Actually, yeah. don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, sure. Yeah, so I think it's just because I'm tired that I'm a bit emotional. Yeah. But yeah, um... <coughs> we're literally 10 minutes in. <laughs> and we've just cried. Um, yeah, so... I forgot what I was saying. Yeah. It's weird how, like, it's weird how dreams can feel so real. Yeah. When I think back nah, to Nah, like, the worst dream I had. Sorry. Yeah, literally. go on <laughs> Right, so the, you know when you die, mm-hmm. um, <coughs> in our religion, if you're not Muslim, what we believe is when you die, you go to your grave and they say that you can hear before the angels of death question you. They say you can hear your family speaking while they're burying yeah. you and they can hear like the footsteps of them walking away. Mm-hmm. Um, I fully, Ayub, you know what, what we believe as Muslims, what happens to us in yeah. our grave, I fully went through that experience in my dream. Yeah, that's messed up. No, no, and like, scary. I slept and scary it happened me. to me in my dream. Yeah, that, oh. and it was happening to me. I, I well, like, it was really, so and I thought I was gone. You have to go through that twice. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what and the best, I'm never woken up and been so thankful to be alive than when I yeah. woke up then. Wallah. Do you know what's mad? <laughs> um, that made me think of it. Obviously, I don't think this is even possible to happen, but. Uh, have you ever made dua in your dream? Have you ever like uh, supplicated in your dream where you like ask God for something in your dream? No. I've only ever done that once and, and then it messed me up because when I woke up, I started thinking like this and I don't think it's possible. So I might be wrong. It's just something that came across my mind. So I had a dream once that I was, what's called? I, I won't say, actually I'll say who. I'll just say the name. Actually I won't say the name. Um, just say I it. had a dream that one of our family members, that's what I'm going to say, um, we were outside the hospital. Is it a bad dream, by the way? You can't say um, bad It is, dream. but it's not at the same time. It's not that deep. But well, they is. can harm you no, if you say your bad dream. I just won't harm This is years ago. It's old. It's not like... Do you know what I mean? There's no time limit. I know, but just listen. Let me tell you the story. You're not allowed to say bad dreams because they're from the... Sh- no, but was I, it from the shaitan? Yeah, I think it was. But I didn't explain to you what was crazy about it and my thought process of it. Anyway, I'm not saying hey, it. Don't but, say it. Do you know why? Because it's not just saying it to me. You're saying it to like 10,000 okay, people. Okay, but I'm not saying it. So it's going to harm you times No, it's 10. not going to harm me. I'm, 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 <laughs> and it's not. The reason you don't say it is because everyone's like you, like you've been tricked by the devil. But that's not what I'm, you're going to see when I get to the conclusion of what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I had a dream that one of my family members were parked up at, um, outside the hospital. I was with them and, and they were in the cars, at the car, started speaking to them. And these random boys walked up to us. And then they was called, one of them just pulled out a knife, stabbed the, the person hey, that was no, in the car. You said, oh, right, I said the, that's, it, that's, that's the bad bit, that's what he said. That's stabbed so the, bad, you're not, not scared. No, let me finish what I was saying because the concept is going to be quite mad when you think about it. Stabbed the person in the car and then they start chasing me and I was running and... In my, whilst I was running, I was like fully, it felt so real that I started making dua and I was like, please Allah save me from this situation. Like whilst I'm running, making dua and then I woke up and instantly I was like, imagine if that actually happened and then I was making dua and Allah just woke me up, like made it so it was a dream, oh. but it was a real, do you know what I mean? Like the concept of, obviously that's he not changed, the case, obviously that's but not what happened. That's like, but when I woke up, imagine I was if that like, was the case yeah. for loads of bad things that That's what I'm saying, like I was making dua whilst it was happening because I've never made dua in my dream. I've never like sat and, and that's the first time I did it. I think I was, that was the time I was, my imam was a lot higher as well, so it was possible to happen. Anyway, I did that and then I woke up and instantly my first thought was, imagine if that was actually happening and he just like changed it and made it like it was a dream. That'd be quite mad. We, don't, we never possible. know. Yeah, imagine like that's a thing. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, I want to quickly shout out, um, basically, my husband's friend passed away. I don't know if you know or you saw. I think I saw, yeah. Yeah, so he passed away from cancer. So like, it's really oh. sad because Waleed was... How do you say it? Lay- Allah Rahmah. I can never pronounce it properly. Allah Rahmah. Yeah, but you ha yeah, so Allah Rahmah Amin. Allah Rahmah Amin. Um, um so it's like been seeing Waleed go visit him in the hospital late nights oh. the past like few weeks. Um, cause he's had cancer and he was like in end of life care. So like Waleed would go and I'd see him really upset and like every time he'd go, like the boy got worse mm. skin. <laughs> and then he, I think like maybe three days ago, um, he passed away. Um, Allah Rahmah, and um, may Allah grant him mm. 
mm. highest ranks of Jinnah. Amen. And yeah, so he passed away. So Walid, when he was alive, Walid, like literally in hospital, he's like, bro, don't worry. Like when you passed away, I'm going to build a well in your name for you. Like wow. Sadaqa Jariya. And um, yeah, so he said it to him when he was seeing him in the hospital, literally like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he passed away. So Walid m made a charity and is um, building a well for him. But it's not like the small wells. I think it's quite a big one. Mm -hmm. Um, he the price has gone up to ten thousand. I mean the goal. Yeah. So I think they're about two thousand. So guys, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys would click yeah. the link in our bio and um, donate, even if it's like a pound, literally. Yeah. And uh, we know the power that we, we know all have. We know the power is sadly relatable because we did it during Ramadan. We did like it blew my mind how much we we got together. Yeah. So we would actually appreciate it so much, guys. If you even if it's just a pound, even if it's just a share, anything. Share with your friends. Yeah. But just know that also I think sometimes. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in life that yeah. we forget to do charity. Yeah, definitely. Does that ever happen? It to happens you? to me. Sometimes I'll stop and I realize, oh, I haven't. It's been so long, and then I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, but it should be a regular thing. Yeah, like sometimes it benefits you as well. You forget the importance of doing charity. Like charity is, you're gonna take your charity to your grave with you, basically. Yeah. Like, it's really good to do charity. It's one of the things that is just very important. It's a, is it a pillar of Islam? It might be. I think it might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's exactly. Like a, yeah, yeah, exactly. But that's. that's yeah, but it's still yeah, charity. Yeah, yeah. So you guys, make sure you um, do that anyway, even if you don't want to donate to this one. But remember to do it like regularly, consistently when you can. And also Shana. remember that the more you give, like so giving charity is not going to decrease your wealth. Yeah. Like, don't think. Oh, don't ever feel like you're losing something. When you give charity, don't ever feel like it's a loss to you. Yeah, it's not. Allah gives you and more. Give you more. Yeah. Also, sometimes you might be like, oh, I don't have enough money. Or I can't give it. Like literally, the more you give, the more you get. So yeah, if you guys could click the link in our bio, please. Let's just try and help him reach the £10,000 goal Allah. so that he can start building ASAP and like not long out the process. Yeah. But yeah, I'd really appreciate it. And keep him in your dua's, please, guys. And also keep him in your dua's. And his family, inshallah. And his family, exactly. So yeah, sorry for just checking that one in. That's right, I'm I just think the best in. time to mention it is probably in the middle of the podcast because like, yeah. they're sucked in now. Yeah, they're watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so carry on. Yeah, anyway, um, what was I going to say to you? Actually, I was going to speak to you something <clears throat> about something recently, and I know I brought this topic up before, but I kind of wanted to like bring it up because it's something that I'm experiencing again, if that makes sense. So we spoke puberty. about puberty. No, <laughs> so we spoke about. When did you go for puberty? Sorry, you, you went know? through it so late. late. Yeah, I was late. I did as well. Did I did I say on a podcast once? I can't remember. I think so. I used to like pretend I was on my period. Oh yeah, did I say that's mad. Literally, yeah, I, but you went. I think you went through it late because you have issues anyway. Yeah, so that's it probably true. wasn't late. You were just you just your normal issues. Yeah, that's true. Whereas me, it was like I remember I was so small until like eighteen years old. That's when I like started yeah, getting bigger. Yeah, that when you went through puberty. No, I started puberty, but I'm saying like the growth and body and like getting bigger is when it, it was yeah. like seventeen, eighteen is when it hit me. Mad. Anyway, anyway, sorry. <clears throat> so what I wanted to speak about is the trauma and like things that are left in me from being bullied in Come school. Come here, just a bit closer. It's not... Just, I just want to see clothes. There's two. Yeah. Stop touching it, please. Listen, you're stressing me hey, out. Okay, I'm just going to take something out. I genuinely think it is one. Well, it's not. You can't say what I can. When I do know they come? it's not. Because I get these have happened to me before. They're just little spots and then they go. It's been here for like two days. He said they've been happening to me. <laughs> I've had them all my life. <laughs> They're just little spots. Wallah. They've never gone past this. You're going to see. They've okay, never anyway, gone past this. On. Stop staring at it as well. You're stressing me out. I can't help it. Stop looking at it. It's weird like me going like this to that little yellow mark <laughs> in your teeth. Oh, yeah. yeah, so relax. Um. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about the effects of bullying um, and like how it affects you. Because I spoke about it and how it affects you in your friendship group and stuff like that and how I act and stuff like that. Um, what's up? No, I'm just thinking about what you're saying. Okay. I don't remember. I, I remember I was bullied, but I don't remember it. Yeah. So... Lucky. Like I know I was, but I don't remember it. Yeah. So Lucky. for me, it had it had a lot of impact in the way that I like moved on and made friends differently, mm. differently afterwards in like college and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it made me very self aware, self -con like I'd always analyze how I'm talking, who I'm talking to, and I'd self -conscious. overthink. Self conscious. Yeah, self conscious. I'm very like I'm too. 
I've realized I'm a bit too like sorry after things happening as well. Yeah. And the reason I bring this up is because I've recently, because at this age, you don't really make new friends. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I haven't like, made I've new had, friends in like that's what ages. I mean. My main group of friends I've been with for 10 years, like they already know who I am. I don't need to like be wary around them and be like, oh, this, that. they know who I am. They know my intentions. That's it. But I recently, feel like you do make new friends. You do, but I'm talking about like people. I oh, know you, I mean. Oh, me, yeah, you that's specifically. what I'm saying. So recently, I've like made a new a, like friend I can't even speak Bloody friendship up. group I've made new friends people that I'm connecting with people that I'm working with um, shout out to 9am gang and RC shout um, out to who don't worry I said it quick 9am <laughs> gum 9am oh 9am who is that it's just a group chat of filled with people with people why 9am because why do you want the details I was trying to skip I tried to skip past it as quick as possible because I knew you were going to ask about what it is what it stands for how come you're 25 years old and you're playing these games get back to your life <laughs> <laughs> no anyway. i think it's really cute but one thing i don't like is how you're all like mm, yeah exclusive friends you're not invited in this room Shut that's up. such a lie what lie invited you don't even try me no i don't need your invite first of all i got an invite to the first event yes and i was unable to attend and then the second event you were unable to attend again yeah i was unable to attend but i wanted to okay, go okay so what's that got to do with anything? so just because you're you. able to attend don't mean you're cooler than me okay anyway listen they're all good people, mashallah. Yeah, they do look, they look so I'm lit. telling you, it's such a vibe. You'd actually love it as well, it's sick. Yes, anyway. I would when I go next time. Why are you looking at me like I'm the one that's been stopping you from going? <laughs> anyway, they're all cool people, but I'm going through the stages of like making new friends again and being around people that like don't fully know you. And I've noticed my tendencies of like stuff that's happened to me when I was younger, that bu- I was bullied, and then how I am now making new friends. Even though I'm a grown ass man, it's still in me. Like, I'm very, like, always thinking about how what what i've said are you or your true self around them yeah yeah 100 percent. i've gotten to that point where i just like talk crap and whatever but there is that like every time i do something i'm always i'll check in afterwards i'll be like oh are you sure you're right like i'm uh, just messing around blah 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 do you know what i mean oh yeah i'm still in that phase yeah, that but who takes cares a while for me to go <laughs> i was gonna say who cares what people think but you mean you don't want to hurt people's feelings yeah yeah do you know why because uh, this happened to me before it happened to me before when i was younger yeah one time <laughs> this was in school the guy don't was, say something that's gonna make me depressed for no the it's rest not gonna make you depressed no sometimes you say stuff that happens to you like oh it's so funny it's happened to me in school and then i sit there i'm like that's so no, sad it, <laughs> no listen so i feel like this whole section i've been mumbling but let me really i can't even speak let me get myself together. Right, I'm here. So, one time, I was play fighting with this guy. Yeah. Um, and then we were throwing each other around. And he was a kid that would bully me sometimes, but today he was being cool with me and nice. We were just like messing around. And everyone was there. And then I kind of, he didn't realize I was stronger than him. So we were playing around. And then I threw him and I accidentally like threw him into like all the bikes and he fell over. And then he got up and he was like, what the hell are you doing you brown like inside like cussing me out like getting really really angry and i thought like we were just cool like playing around oh, but all of a sudden he like switched so on me it's why not... would you tell me <laughs> anyway, that just listen he switched on me and i was like whoa so st- and that's happened to me so many times where i'm like i well, there's been times where i've been play fighting with someone and then all of a sudden they start taking it very serious and getting angry also oh, now when you like when you play joke talk with someone or like, they like, get talking. angry yeah not not they don't get angry but i'm saying i have yeah that. i saw a video where you were a bit aggressive with rafiq oh yeah you no, know like i think you must have like grabbed his head no you were like holding him yeah when you were all outside and you're all like this that wasn't rafiq, that, that was thingy that was <laughs> emma's yen that was jokes we we're playing hide and seek we we're trying to find everyone. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that was this is top it wasn't that deep imagine and then in his head he's like that guy i'll never speak to him again i know <laughs> <laughs> anyway that was just an example of like things have happened and then i'm like they switch on me anyway so now it's brought this tendency that after anything ever happens i'm very much like yo are you sure that's right like if yeah, no, but I can't wait to get hey, past like, that stage. Uh-huh, you with your big head. Are you sure that's okay? I <laughs> <Yeah. said> that. <laughs> that's what it's like sometimes. Why? No. Because I get worried that like people no. will secretly be offended, and then when I'm away, they'll be like, oh, "I just don't like his vibe," you know? Like, yeah. Then just that. is what you do. Yeah, you don't make them jokes until maybe like a few weeks in. No, no, we're in. We're at that stage now. So then, don't know. worry. Because they give it back as well. Yeah, is, don't worry. Then if you notice someone looks a bit uncomfortable, they're like, hmm, hmm, "Yeah," but I just like to stop. make sure. But um, I find my, I find it annoying that I'm making sure. Yeah, you need to not. That's yeah. I, but I get it. It's it's obviously like for example, me and Rafiq, we did. Um, I got. It. By the way, I'm gonna shut myself out right now. I have a YouTube video coming out with Rafiq and on his channel as well. It's just. Like oh, a, he's doing YouTube again now. Yeah, yeah, I'm jumping back on it. Inshallah. Wait, you shouldn't tell until you've filmed like five videos and you. Can uh, be it doesn't matter. It's coming out on Saturday. It's Saturday anyway. Um, inshallah. So you know why that's so annoying? It's probably gonna be out by now. You know why that's so annoying? Why? Because 
Walla, ask my private viewers if you're watching it, comment down below. I said to everyone, guys, I have an announcement. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start vlogging soon. So why is that annoying? So you now you're copying well. me. It's not copying. We can both do it. Why are you copying me? Come on. Shri. No, I'm joking. What? Hold that. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll put. <laughs> well, we'll put Ayub's link down below. Yeah, we will. Anyway, so the video should be out, inshallah. Um, um, yeah, guys, so go did... comment on his videos and then hopefully it'll motivate him to post more. I'm also, but I'm not going to do it for another like three months. I'm not going to lie. I need everything yeah. to be perfect. But yeah, um, we put it in the bio and tell yeah. everyone to go subscribe. All right, thank you. Yeah. Oh, imagine if all sadly relatable. That's what I'm saying. It'll be sick. So it's at, it's just Kayla Kesha, the same thing. Yeah. Anyway, so we did a forfeit challenge where you, you have to answer a question. If you get it wrong, you get slapped in the back of the neck. But the thing is, it got like intense slaps. Yeah, your and head was red after. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then Why don't you show a video on screen of how red your Why head Why are you always going to add editing issues for me every single time? Just do it. No, they want to see it's it. It's motivation watch it. because then don't they want to watch me. the video no, of how no, no, you no. got <laughs> red, how you okay, and Okay, it might red. be here and it might not. Right here. Anyway, so the issue is on his one, we did it again and we, did, we didn't want to. It just got chucked. You'll see how it happened anyway. It was funny. Um, and then on the last slap, he slapped me so hard that like the pain was so much that I thought when I slapped him the set afterwards, I thought that's how hard he slapped. But then I watched the videos back and his was literally just like a slap and mine was so hard. That's so bad. And that's mean. after I watched it, I was like, I felt so... Did you so apologise? Literally, I couldn't stop. I was like, I'm so sorry. And I think I annoyed him. He was like, bro, it's okay. <laughs> to the point where he was like, no, I need to make sure. Oh, that is mean. Yeah, I felt so... Because he's such a nice guy as well. And I was like, I felt so bad. Wallah. But we've got that. I've noticed me and him, like, Moner. You know me yeah, and Mon? Yeah, yeah. When we like, we'll grab each other, we like jump up and down, we're laughing and we've got yeah. that relationship. No, um, that's cute. They all seem really nice. I'm not going to lie. No, they're cool. They're all cool. Um, even like the people at RC, which is redefining really concepts, like yeah. they're all amazing people as well. I love them. Um, they're really nice. But yeah, I'm just noticing like as a 25 year old man, oh my I God, still have these, so weird. the tendencies of like... You're a 25 year old man. You're 26, Ayo. Stop, stop stressing me out. He's 26 in like four months. Yeah. Please, I don't want to think about it. Stress me out. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I feel like you're not letting me speak today. Okay, go. Do you want to fight? Ow! Oh, jeez. That's so, like, big. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Wallah. That hurt. Let go. No, I've got, I've got a bad injury. Yeah, you do now. <laughs> that hurt. No, terrible. Okay. Anyway, what I'm trying to say this whole time, and I can't get it out because you're stressing me out, is I still am being affected by stuff that happened to me when I was a kid. Yeah, grow up. Yeah, it's a bit, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. See, George, man, whenever you talk about your mental health stuff or stuff you go through, I'm always here for you. Wallah, and then you do me like that. Shut up, you guys. Know I'm in joking. the comments, let her know she's a snake. Well, I'm joking. Um, yeah, so that's mad. Yeah. Maybe see a therapist. I think it would. It's just a starting. I'll get over it eventually. But no, at the start, I'm very much thinking like, oh, am I too much in this person's face? Am I talking to this risk, person too much? I don't much? think you should risk. Oh, maybe I'll we'll get over it. See a therapist. No, I will get over it because it's already slowly happening. But no, it's I mean, just like, stressful what about in start. your future and relationships and stuff? Yeah, but a therapist is, a therapist is not going to be like, all right, here you go. Take this, you're cured. No, but they will give... Don't be silly because they have like techniques and like yeah. CB, CBT. Yeah, I've already and done things. that though. Yeah, but is, can you not get different CBTs? Or I is it just all called. the same thing? Yeah, cognitive behavioural therapy. I'd done it when I was 13. Relax. Jeez. <laughs> she was the first one to ever do it. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 all their studies were from this one. <laughs> Um, yeah, so what? How fly? <laughs> yeah, it's good, man. I'm chilling. Um, I basically um, got diagnosed with a personality disorder when I was 14, right? And mm -hmm. then I spoke about it on TikTok, and everyone was like, "You have to be 18 to get diagnosed." Yeah, what was that? They all tried to like. Act so basically, like... <laughs> it says on Google that only severe cases get diagnosed before the age of 18. Yeah. <laughs> so you let them hold that. You're like, well, technically, you can only do it if you're really messed up. Yeah. I win. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um. But no, life, how is how is life generally? Yeah, it's all right. I don't know. I feel like this whole, that whole section, I just mumbled. Was no, you right? didn't at all. I felt like I kept like stuttering. No, I'm, I apologize because I think I wasn't taking it as seriously. Yeah, you weren't. And I could see you, you kept thinking of other stuff. So it was pulling me away from sorry, my Sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm not a bad sister. Yeah. You know what it is? Because me and Abe have these talks outside of the podcast. We don't. We do. So that's why I'm a bit like, because like we speak about this stuff anyway. Yeah. Sorry. Next time I engage because you just messed up my whole monologue. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. you stressed me out. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, no, life's good, alhamdulillah. Um, should, we do our jo should we do our dad jokes? Yeah, we'll do it after this. Um, oh. <laughs> let me talk. Uh. You're actually such a snake. What the hell? I'm tired. Go. That's right, there you go. Um, yeah, life's good, alhamdulillah. Busy opportunities that come my way. I'm very Allah grateful for. Thank you, Allah. You know what I was thinking about? Yeah. Ever since we started this podcast, my life's been kind of going a bit better. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. 
But when I say a bit better, like my life from when we <laughs> first started to now has 360. Yeah, 360, your life has changed loads. 180. Mine's the same. <laughs> no, but I genuinely think, like I genuinely put it down to so our making viewers dara. making dua for yeah. us. Because think about how much... Imagine we Think about where we are in this room. Like this is you, you have your own apartment. What's your, that noise? I have no idea. But think about where we are. Yeah, We started this off in like my bedroom which we still are there but you know what I mean like you were just down the hall in your little square so box sad. and now we have a sometimes whole sometimes I get sad apartment. that I don't live there anymore yeah I do really like it when you come back Aww, it's cute do you not miss me living at home uh, no I prefer that you don't <laughs> <laughs> no I do prefer that you don't because I feel like our relationship is so much better I feel like your relationship with Someone's everyone in, you. I feel like your relationship with everyone in the house is a lot better it's healthier yeah do you know what I mean yeah, I don't know. When I sometimes think about why I moved out, I genuinely don't know. Mm. Because, like, why did I have to move out before I got married? I think it's because, like, I had a feeling I may get married soon. Yeah. So I was like, I need to Let experience... Let me get them three months in. <laughs> no, I was like, I need to experience living by myself before don't I Don't take get... Nishan's advice. Don't you take don't my need to advice. That you don't have don't want to. It, yeah, There's you... literally no point. It's a waste yeah. of money. Literally no... You can you know, if you want. But as long as you marry you someone that feels like a friend too, you'll feel like you've moved out with a friend by the time you get married. Yeah, inshallah. Um, but yeah, no... Um, Alhamdulillah, life blessed. That's um, good. But I don't want to say this because this might sound a bit bad and it may be like bringing negativity. Mm-hmm. I don't mean it in that way at all. But you know when life goes too good and you're, and you're like, just wait, you're just like, wait, what? Not waiting. But you're like, just like, well, something, something's fishy here. Yeah, and then yeah. you're like, something bad's going to happen soon. Yeah, if you shouldn't think like that. No, I know you Allah. shouldn't. Life, but I'm yeah. saying like, um, that's, ha- that's I can't get out of that mentality. Mm. And like, I always think like, I don't know. That's I just... been me recently as well. Well, I was thinking about it. I was like, I was like, so many like good things are coming and I feel good. And then I'm like, is this like a bad thing? Because <laughs> yeah. they also say sometimes when things are going too well for you, it could, or you you have no stress. It's almost like Allah's... Giving you this world. Yeah, giving you this world not, instead of the Because when he tests you, it means he loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then so, again, you can be happy yeah, and yeah. go and to And to be heaven. honest, I, when I think about it, we still have tests. We still have so much yeah, that we're going course, through. Yeah, of course, a lot. I think what it is, is that we've, there's... We're going, life's we've, been so shit that now we've had a little bit of good and we're like even, oh my even God. though there's still crap going on and we're having good at the same time we forget that we've got the crap going yeah, on as yeah, well yeah 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 exactly we're not just perfect and also sailing. maybe like suffering for so many years I'm not saying that ours was the worst there's yeah. a lot of people out there that have had it worse but maybe like this was like what it was yeah. for we should do a whole episode where we talk about our life and everything that we actually went through I mean yeah. you remember like none of it but no I remember a bit of it but uh, I think we should do like an actual like sit we lived down in a women refuge have we spoken about that before uh, we, we did an episode that accidentally got like muted oh yeah, yeah so. we've lived in a women's refuge guys we went yeah. to like 12 different schools yeah we went to so many <laughs> we, different um, schools we lived in London for a bit it was in yeah Lew- we lived in, in London no and it wasn't like, in Lewisham uh, was it not where was it Wolverhams no 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 you know the place where we lived in like the tower blocks though. yeah it wasn't Lewisham what, what Lewisham was it? South London we were I remember where we were Wolverham doesn't remember anything but this wait let me ask Waleed because he'll oh he's asleep yeah I told Waleed about it recently wait I'll t- just let him sleep <laughs> I know where it was but okay. it wasn't in Lewisham okay but we were somewhere and it was in like a, a proper like tower block I remember thing. the ball yeah and like I done ballet oh, yeah. I Mom done ballet it. one time I had a, like a, a block ball um, one of them balls that you, you like, said block ball <laughs> blow up ball yeah I can't speak today um, like one of them big ones like a beach ball type thing yeah and we kept me and Nishan kept playing with it in house in the house for ages time time times times I can't yeah. speak I don't today. know what it is today what just is going tired. on we played for it for ages and it was in our little flat and I k- kicked it and it hit, broke the light bulb and then and mom got so angry she like pulled it she pulled me in the kitchen she got the knife and she just popped maybe it maybe let's not say this story <laughs> what the hell it's a normal thing yeah and then she popped his <laughs> she popped it yeah and then Nishrin for like a few years she'd just draw it every time I remember you came to me so oh many my times God. she'd come back from school with a drawing of mom popping my ball do you remember this <laughs> I remember <laughs> <Snake>. <laughs> a I remember that <gasps> oh. I'm tapped as a child I'm I remember drawing the knife with the ball. Yeah. you Because I think you found it so funny that she popped it. I'm and I was sorry, so but I was actually so tapped. <laughs> she did tell us like a million times to stop doing it. And then I hey, if you were sad about something. Can I laughed about yeah, it? Yeah, and you said draw it. Should I tell you something? Yeah. 
um, I've read that people with personality disorders like to see people in pain. First of all, I just want to say, wallah, that is not me. Mm-hmm. The only thing is, sometimes when I do see people in pain, I don't I care. don't believe that. No, no, no. Do you know why I don't believe that? Well, don't forget about you making all our cousins fight 24-7. I've told this story before as well, but every family function ever, if Nishan is not downstairs and the kids are not downstairs, that means they're all upstairs. She's caught, like, made a fight club. You walk in and she's going, fight, fight. Get, and the little kids are like pulling each other's hair and punching each other. And you're there like, yeah. No. No, listen, the last time I'd done that was like five years ago. Please tell them. I, I'm pretty sure you did. No. It. Who you did it recently? You did it recently. I did it. You tried to get you someone to hit someone. Yeah. <laughs> no, the last time I'd done it was like five years ago. I have not done that as like How old a were you mature five years ago? adult. 19. <laughs> I have not done that as a mature adult, I'm telling you, because. But listen, is it not hilarious? Yeah, it's jokes. Listen, can I tell but you guys, when not. I used to do that, yeah, I did. I used to be like, right, who's strongest? And they, they, they like wrestle and fight you. Yeah. It's because it's so funny. To see like little kids like. Watching kids fight. <laughs> <laughs> People are going to think I'm psychotic. No, listen, it is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. But no, I don't like, but I never let it get to the point where they're, <laughs> I never let it get to the point where they're actually in pain. Like, that's when I would stop. I don't know, I've seen a few kids get not, punched in the face. In no, your watch. no, that's not true. It would just be like. So you were a nanny at one point as well. <laughs> I was saying at one point like that wasn't my job for like five yeah. years did you make any of the kids fight be honest no well I didn't that's what I'm saying the past five years mm-hmm. or maybe even six years I think I started nannying at like 18 mm-hmm. um, I'm not I did not do that at all I'm, I'm very good with children as well you need to mm. remember another thing I want to say is oh, I forgot what I was going to say what do you want to say, Jean? What was I going to say? I don't know. I'm not in your brain. Yeah, so basically, um, people with personality disorders apparently like to see other people in pain. I don't. Well, I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't like, mm, they're in pain. But, but sometimes when people, oh my God, actually. Sometimes what? You know maybe what I do. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm sometimes joking. what? Say it. Sometimes when people are in pain, when I say pain, I don't mean physical. Actually, physical and emotional. 50% of the time, I just don't care. Oh, you don't care. I thought you meant you like. No, fear. no, no, I don't like it. I just some. T- it's like 50 50. Oh, like you don't have that emotion towards it. So 50% of the time, I can literally feel nothing. And the other time, I'll literally be like so empathetic oh, and I'm like feel bad for it. But there could be a time where someone's crying in front of me or like they've just hurt themselves so bad. And I'll literally be like, oh, you're right. But then the other time, I'll be like, oh my God, are you okay? And I feel like yeah. bad for them. This is why it's hard to be in my brain. Anyway, yeah, let's do our dad jokes. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, uh, we saw a little clip and we thought it was funny where. Um, just basically trying not to laugh and you no, say dad try jokes. the per- first person to make the other person laugh wins yeah but I don't, how many do you have because you've got loads I've only got a few I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, mad. eight you've got loads one second let me see why not that hilarious I've got one, two, three, four, five, six okay you go first alright you ready go straight faces <clears throat> wait let me take some more. the thing is they're not funny they're dad jokes yeah they're dad jokes by the way they're not like funny <laughs> okay you ready go how do billboards wait by the way you have to no one from now on no laughing for the next okay, till we yeah, finish yeah. the segment okay, and well, whoever laughs loses well, none of us laugh we just carry on yeah then then okay. we're both winners sorry guys <laughs> ready okay first one how do billboards talk don't know sign language dead 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 you're gonna laugh I'm good. Okay, here's the thing. You can laugh at your own joke. Let's say that. No, no, no. It makes it funnier that you can't. <laughs> okay. What's worse than finding a worm in your apple? What? Finding half a worm. Do you get it? Yeah. Because you ate it. Do you get it? Because <laughs> you ate wait. the worm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. We can laugh at our own joke. No, no. Love at your own joke. Okay, let's start again. Start no, again. let's start again. It's I next mean, one. You're obviously, we're not going <laughs> to react to the jokes again. <laughs> Go. Ready. <sighs> what does a dinosaur use to pay its bills? Dino bucks. Tyrannosaurus checks. That was so Try. Um, how do we know that the ocean is friendly? How? Oh, I know. Because it waves. Try. Okay. What do, what do you call ghost poop? The horse's name was Friday. <laughs> that's, that's the riddle, isn't it? <laughs> 
<laughs> you crack it. You um, laughed. You laughed. Okay, okay. What do you call ghost poops? I Poop. don't know. Boo boo. What kind of tree fits in your hand? What? A palm tree. Oh, I like that. Next. <laughs> Why couldn't the toilet paper cross the road? Because he was up someone's ass. <laughs> Why was that so close to the outside? What did it say? <laughs> Got stuck in a crack. <sighs> Why is none of these funny? That's the point. <laughs> what did the left eye say to the right eye? What? Between us, something smells. Okay. Do you get it? Because your nose... Yeah, I, you don't have to ask me if I get it. <laughs> um, I wonder if anyone's actually laughing at home. <laughs> I don't know. If you laugh, comment down we below. We know they're not funny, but we're going. Um, what do you call it when two chips fall in love? Don't know. A relation dip. When you look for something, why is it always in the last place you look? Because that's where you find it? Because when you find it, you stop looking. That was dead. That was so dry. <laughs> <laughs> These ready? jokes are just us going, yeah. dead. dead. <laughs> Why does a smartphone need glasses? I don't know. Because it lost all its contacts. Why do candles always go on top of cakes? Because you're known. Because it's hard to light them from the bottom. Is that funny? <laughs> Your turn. Oh, you have no more. Yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> what did the banana say to the dog? Split. I know. Let me actually guess. What did the banana say to the dog? Oh, I don't know. Bananas can't talk. Hold that. Why are you so quick to like pull it back? <laughs> All right, should we move what on? Sounds, dead. What sound do porcupines make when they kiss? <laughs> Ouch. Okay, let's move on. These are so <laughs> they bad. Were so dry. We should make our own jokes. Yeah, next time, next episode, we'll make our own jokes. Abe wanted to do dad jokes. That's why they're not funny. Yeah. Mine were funny, though. All right, guys, so now we have our second ever cool segment. I'm excited. Do you know why I'm excited? Because the first time we did it, they sent I'm it on the day. Up, they sent it on the day. So they were expecting it. They're probably expecting it. it. Whereas now we're going to pick yes. one and it's been like a whole week. Oh, but now the next episode, they're going to know. Yeah. Oh, if I get random caught. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This is going to be a good one. Okay. I'm um, excited. Oh, interesting. Let's get it, dude. Um, let me see. 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 Um, I don't know. Who, do you want to pick one? Um, yeah, just pick one. Why do you mean you don't know? Okay, here. You just literally pick one. Let me see. Here. Let me see that one. She wrote love you guys at the end of it, which was really cute. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Hold that. I don't know how to say her name. Wajiha. Okay. Wajiha. Right. So one for one. Give me that. Zero seven. Relax. Now they know she's from the UK. Zero seven. Eight. Five. Nine. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> we just said number. That's not it. Then we've now, you just said two numbers. So we've narrowed it down. They might be able to guess. Um, zero. Oh. <laughs> Hold that. Right, let's see. Shh, I'm nervous. What should we do? Are we doing a little prank? Let team? me prank call okay, her. Okay, okay, one second. Move. Make sure you don't you don't hold the number in the camera view. I hope she answers. Hello? Hello? Hi, did you call me? Uh, sorry? Sorry, hi, who's speaking? Sarah. Sorry? Sarah, I just got a missed call from you. I don't know, I don't think I rang you. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. Wait, let me just ask my boyfriend. Did you, did you call her? No, nah, she definitely called you. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Saudi Relatable, dude. <laughs> you're right how you doing you're right yeah i'm good how are you yeah hi oh my god i'm so shocked i did not expect that 
<laughs> How are you? I'm so sorry. We're just pranking our viewers. Oh, you know what? I got a prank call the other day, so I was so confused. Yeah, that was us as well. No, I'm joking. No, it wasn't. wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> How are you guys? Good, thank you. How are you? Can you um, say your name? Because I don't think I pronounced it properly. Uh, Wajiha. Wajiha. Oh, Wajiha. I did, you just I say did it good, pronounce yeah. it right. Um, how are you? Yeah. I'm good. How are you? Good, yeah, thank you good. so Nishan, much. Nishan just did the prank and then she sprung it on me. Oh, I didn't know what to say. Know, I, I actually like... can't believe it. I've been watching the podcast for so long and I oh. actually did not expect you guys to call me. Oh, oh, well, thank you so much for watching. We honestly appreciate it so much. Like, it means a lot to yeah. us. No, yeah, and yeah, honestly, every Sunday I'm watching a podcast and, you know, like, just before uni, it's nice to just, you know, wind down and watch uh, a podcast. Oh, well, you're featuring in the next episode, so yeah. if you want to <laughs> shout yourself out, it's Wajiha, Wajiha. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't really. My socials aren't really active, so... Okay, <laughs> all right. It was, it was more for, like, support, but... Oh. Yeah, congratulations on your wedding as well. Thank you, you so much, you. Queen. Appreciate <laughs> it so much. I think Ian wants to say something. No, I just want to say we appreciate you for watching, all and um, we're happy that we have people like you that support us. And you're in our door, oh, as no. always. Thank you so much, guys. And my sister just came in, like, with a shocked face as well, because... I did not expect you guys to go. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you're so I'm sweet. Thank you so you much. Well. No, thank you guys for ringing as well. It was so nice speaking to it's you. It's alright. I hope you have an too. amazing rest of your day. You too, you too. Right, take, take care. care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. She was so nice. It's so cute. When I it, think I our excited. viewers are actually making it not all, like yeah. enjoyable. Let's do another I one. Speak. Every time I wanted to speak, you kept cutting me off. All right. Just <laughs> I'd be like, I'm I'd say something. She'd be like, oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but do you know what? I prefer that you're actually the one like, no. taking control. Right, should we do one more? Um, yeah, I want to do guys, one more. All right, we'll do one more, guys. I like doing them. Okay. 077. Yep. Free eight. Wait, wait, Nishrin. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were joking around, G. <laughs> it's all right, we can still carry on. <laughs> oh, this girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah she always she shows us it. love. She always shows us love. I've yeah. spoken to her before. Yeah, I have. And um, she's so sweet. That's why. The, like, As if you were to say her whole number. I forgot that I was, we were filming. This is how you know I'm tired. Mm. I, I fully forgot that I was, we were filming. Right. I thought we'd do normal prank calls let's, at home. Yeah, let's not do a prank. Gonna do no, come on. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm so dead at pranks. She so. might recognise me. Just be like, hi, you alright? You do it. Yeah. Hello? Hi there. Um, my name's Patty, and I tried to call you three times, but the phone didn't go through. No. I already know who this is. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> well, welcome to Sandy Relatable, girl! Right. If, if you hear a baby crying in the background, it's my nephew, so... Oh. Like, it's alright, like, we're not judging quickly. the baby. Sorry? We're not judging the baby. Oh. Hi, Queen. Oh, I've spoken God. to you before. Yes, you have. Thanks How are you? Advice. I'm good, thank you. Alhamdulillah. How are you guys? Yeah, good, I'm good thank, thank you. you. How do you know it was me? Was it too obvious? Was the accent's dead? Sorry? Was the accent really bad? Yeah, it was. I recognise it. Oh, oh, so. oh, do you know no. why? For me to do it good, I have to talk like... It's not yeah, until the mid of the sentence. As soon as I start, yeah, yeah. yeah you fine. don't mind being on the podcast episode, do you? No, I don't. I'm literally sweating. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah. But I was like to. I was like to Ayub. Yeah. Call her back because she didn't answer the first time. Oh yeah, yeah. I was literally his dummy had fell out. Oh. So I'm out. Oh. Yeah. Well, how are you though? We're, like me and Ayub recognise you. You always show us so much love, so we appreciate oh. so much. Yeah. Wallah. Thank you, Allah. We really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys and all your podcasts and everything. Oh, thank you so oh, wait, much. How long have you been watching? Sorry? How long have you been watching? Since the start, I just never really commented to begin oh. with. Oh, really yeah, but we spoke. You do DM us, though. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, we spoke on DMs. I remember speaking to you. Have you, Ayub, spoke to um, her? I don't know if I spoke to her, but I just recognise her. Yeah, your, profile picture your picture's very for, like, beautiful, like, mashallah. Like thank you. Oh. So, you guys. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Queen. But how are you? How's okay. life? Uh, good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> right at the moment. Oh, Ayub. Alhamdulillah, as good as it can be. Ayub um, says that I keep interrupting him, so I'm going to let him talk. No, I've yeah. said what I wanted to say. I just, I just wanted to say that we appreciate you and we're happy that we can actually, like, call people that watch us and support everything that we do. Yeah, I didn't expect the call. I kind of 
was looking out for it. Oh, okay. Uh, I've had some calls from work with no caller ID. Oh. oh. So I thought, oh, great, is it work at eight o'clock? Oh, stress. <laughs> so sorry, but I'm saying sorry, like, I'm sure you don't mind us calling you. No, 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 I don't mind at all. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> thank you for not being awkward. We get so worried that when we ring people, they, they might be a bit awkward, but you've honestly not been at all. You made the conversation uh, amazing. I hope you guys are well in your families and stuff. Oh, thank you thank so you. much. You too, You're in our daughters. And you. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Queen. Thank you. Oh, it was nice speaking to you as well. I hope have you, a good and, evening. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. And you. All right, Bye. thank you. Bye. 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 Oh, <laughs> she was so nice. I, I'm awkward on the calls today. I don't know No, why. I don't think you're awkward. I think she might have been a bit like... Um, <laughs> she literally was like, you're not awkward at all as soon as we hang up. I think she no, might have been a bit... No, I'm not awkward. I think she might have been a bit nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because we just kind of sprang it on her. Yeah. I would be... That's sick though. She knew who it was straight away. Yeah, yeah. She's she's so nice. Wallah, like she I promise you. so much. No, I can't do it. And so shout out to you. And yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. I love it. I want to... Should we do no, one no, more? No, 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 We need to say that. We're not going to have any calls left. Okay, also. yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. So, all right, guys, um, we're going to do the shout out of the week because that's what time it is. Um, I hope you guys have actually enjoyed it. I feel like today was a good one. Shout out of the week goes to J2 Shoes 2. If you're a Muslim woman, then cover yourself. <laughs> is that actually the shout Yeah. Out? No, it's not the shout out of the oh. week, but um, <laughs> that was funny. All right, next. Um, so, the actual shout out of the week goes out to. Um, <laughs> Oh, that one was cute. Um, Alia Alam, using this podcast um, as a way of avoiding music. May Allah grant you success with this. Emmy, and thank you so mm. much, Alia. We appreciate that. Also, I do want to quickly say um, that if you, if we haven't shouted you out and you've commented on every single episode please bear with us we'll eventually um, get there inshallah. don't think oh I'm not going to comment now we will get to you yeah. and um, also as well for the person that commented that thank you yeah, uh, thank we you appreciate so much, you Queen. That's, you're in our du'as we're very very grateful and we keep you guys in our du'as thank you for everything that you've done for thank you for us. watching if you've come back continuously even if it's your first time watching thank you for making it this far we love you. Scoop. Anyway, yeah. So, Nisha, where can I find you? You can find me crying on my pillow. You can find me at It's Nisrin on Instagram and TikTok. You can find me at Kelo Kasha on all social media platforms. Don't forget to follow Sadly Relatable Podcast on Instagram and TikTok. Guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the notification bell because you will be notified whenever we post. Also, check out my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram? I mean, my YouTube channel that will be in the description. Also, the charity for... Um, Waleed's friend Waleed's friend um, will be in the link below please share as much as you can donate whatever you can it's very much appreciated we love you guys so 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 much and we'll see you next week people love you peace bye